Now let's go ahead and cover the combining documents, which if you haven't watched the previous training video on comparing, you'll want to watch that because I go over the basics of comparing and combining, and they're pretty much the same. The only thing that's different between the two is that when it comes to combining, you can do it to two or more documents. With comparing, it's only between two documents. So if you have your original and you have a revised copy that somebody sent to you of the original and you want to compare between the two, there's the previous training video. But if it's two or more versions, then use this training video so I can show you how you can combine two or more to the original. So let's go ahead and open up the original. Double click. And then come up here, click on the Review tab, and go to the Compare group. Click on Compare, and there you go. That's what I was talking about. It's between the original and one revision, as opposed to the original and one, two, three, four, five, six, well, as many revisions as you want to combine to compare between each revision. So let's go ahead and click on Combine. It opens up the same window as we saw in the previous training video. Well, except this one's combining. So the original document, well, we're in it, but it wants us to define it again. So let's go ahead and click on the Browse button, and it's Poem A, double click. And the revised is going to be Poem B, double click. And then as far as keeping track of the changes that were made by, well, whoever made it in Poem B, let's say it was Carrie, we can go ahead and type in her name. So we can label those changes, things that are different from the original by her and then down below you got all the comparison settings and we covered that in a previous training video. Here I want it in a new document so we'll go ahead and click okie dokie. Opens up the new document and there's all the changes when I hover over it it's got her name tied to it because well I said anything that's different from the original I want her tagged to it and so that's for the first version that I combined with the original. And so I can go ahead, as we covered in an earlier training video, on accepting and rejecting changes, going from one change to the next. So when you click Next, you can go ahead and with it selected, accept it or reject it. So if I go ahead and reject that, and I also want to reject her deleting other way, reject that in any case you get the idea. Let's go ahead and undo that a couple of times there. Because once you combine that, and you want to combine, well, the difference between Carrie and the original, with somebody else, like Mr. Humphreys, who's Poem C, then come over here and click on Compare, and go down to Combine, and, well, we haven't saved the document number four here, which you can if you want to save it and call it whatever you want to call it between the two, the original and Carrie Heffernan, you can, or if you want to leave it open, that's fine. You just have to click on the drop-down arrow because you won't be able to find it on the desktop because, again, it hasn't been saved. And it will be in this list here. You just have to scroll through it to find the name of it, which is Document 4. There it is. Select it. And we can go ahead and click on Browse for the next version, which is Poem C by Mr. Humphreys. Double click. And we want to label any unmarked changes with Mr. Humphreys. So we'll do Mr. H. Sound good. Go ahead and click Okie Dokie. And it opens up a new window with the changes, not only by Carrie. So when I hover over her changes, you can see in the pop-up her name tagged to it. And let's see if that's her. Yes. And what about this one? Hey, that's Mr. H. And this one? Mr. H. And this one? Carrie. Isn't that just so cool? And so you can go ahead and save this and or keep combining. So you can go ahead and combine and then, you know, find document 5 here. And there it is, select it, and then browse for Poem D, and then just keep doing that over and over again until you've got everybody combined into the original, as it were, with all the changes that they made. And if it helps, you may want to do this one step at a time. So after you combine the two, you can go ahead and save it, and then after you save it, combine the next one into that one, then save it, and then combine the next one into that and save it, and keep doing that until you have them all combined. Sweet. And then, of course, if you'd like, with all these changes here, after you accept and reject them, you can save it over the original by when you do a, well, click on Save. forces you to do a Save As. Just go ahead and select the name of the original. Click Save. Well, because it's actually active and being used by the program, I can't overwrite it, so I'd have to close out of everything. But in any case, you can go ahead and overwrite the original when you close out of Word and open it back up. Maybe you want to save it as something else. Instead of combined five result, save it as combo 
and then go ahead and close out of all the documents to refresh it, open it back up, and then save it over the original. Or, as we talked about, you can go ahead when you're doing the comparison, either compare or combine, click on that. When you choose the original and the revised, you can say, look, I want to show the changes or merge the changes into the original, and then in the original, accept or reject it there if you're okay with that. And sometimes it may be where you want to do that, and sometimes you want to keep the original as is and just have a copy of the combination combining or comparing between the documents into a new document. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.